Hello and welcome you all to another lecture of 8085 microprocessor module. In this session, I will be explaining about generation of control signals in 8085 microprocessor. So, if you see the diagram, 8085 microprocessor uses input output, oblique memory bar, write bar and read bar signals in order to generate memory read, memory write, I.O. read, I.O. write signals. So, regarding the three signals. So, first one I.O. by M bar. The I.O. by M bar should be equal to 0. So, when I.O. by M bar is equal to 0, memory will be selected. And when I.O. by M bar is equal to 1, I.O. will be input output will be selected. Read bar is a control signal and it should be equal to 0. As it is an active low signal, it should be equal to 0 during read operation. Write bar should be equal to 0 active low for write operation. So, in order to generate the memory read, memory write, I O read and I O write, we will see what is the combination of the signals. So, for memory read, first one, for memory read, I O by M bar should be equal to 0 and read bar should be equal to 0. For memory write operation, I O by M bar should be equal to 0 and write bar should be equal to 0. For I O read, I O by M bar should be equal to 1 and read bar should be equal to 0. And for I O write operation, I O by M bar should be equal to 1 and write bar should be equal to 0. So now to generate the control signals, here we make use of the NAND gates. So here we are using 4 NAND gates in order to generate the 4 control signals. So you know the operation of the NAND gate. So for example, A and B are the inputs and Y is the output. Because there are as there are bubbles at the 2 inputs, A will become A bar and B becomes B bar. So, because it is a NAND gate A bar into B bar or A bar and B bar whole bar is equal to with the help of De Morgan's law. We can write it as A double bar plus B double bar which is equal to A plus B. Now, the same A plus B can also be implemented using a OR gate. Given with A and B, output Y is equal to A or B. So, you can implement this using the NAND gates or simple OR gate also. But usually because NAND and NOR are considered as universal gates, we will study with the NAND gates. Now, let us understand this diagram. How these interconnections are made between the yeah, IO by M bar, read bar and write bar and to the output signals memory read, memory write, I O read and I O write. So, we know that like we are using 4 NAND gates. Now, the signal coming out of I O by M bar is given to the both first NAND gate, second NAND gate and inverted given to the fourth and third and fourth gates. And coming to the read bar, read bar is given to the memory read and I O read and write bar is given to the memory write and I O write with the read. Here we are using the bubbled input NAND gates. Looking at the diagram, I O by M bar goes low for memory operations. This signal is added with read bar and write bar for generating memory read and memory write signals. When both inputs go slow, when your I O by M bar, read bar, when both signals go slow, then memory read signal is generated. When I O by M bar goes slow and the write bar also goes slow, then memory write bar is generated. Similarly, when I O by M bar signal goes high, 
means it is indicating the IO operation or peripheral input output operation. There is an inverter here. So, having the inverter again, whenever it is going high, it will be again converted to active low signal. So, when IO by M bar goes high and read bar is equal to 0, then IO read bar signal will be generated. When IO by M bar is equal to 1 and write bar is equal to 0, then IO write bar signal will be generated. So, this is how the 8085 generates the 4 control signals using the IO by M bar, read bar and write bar signals. I hope that this session had helped you to understand generation of control signals in 8085 microprocessor. Please post your valuable suggestions regarding these videos. You will be finding complete microprocessor and interfacing topics as well as microcontroller applications in the playlist. Thank you.